Hi guys, good day, it's me, Teacher MJ. Our topic for today class is all about the English system of measurement. So without further ado, let's do this topic. Now we do have three systems of units of measure. The first one, we have the traditional or non-standard. The second one, we have the English system. And the third one, we have the metric system. Now we're done discussing traditional or non-standard. So if you want to learn more about traditional or non-standard units of measure, I will just put the link on the description down below. Now, in today's video class, we'll be focusing on the English system. Now, what is English system of measurement? Now, English system of measurement is also known as the imperial system, a historical and culturally significant system of measurement that has been used primarily in the United States, Myanmar, Liberia, and to a lesser extent in the United Kingdom. Now, let's talk about the history of the English system. The English system of measurement has a long history that can be traced back to the Roman conquest and the use of human body for the measurement by the Egyptians. The Romans brought their own measurements to England, which were based on the Egyptian system. English units were the units of measurement used in England up to 1826, which evolved as a combination of Anglo-Saxon and Roman systems of units. Now let's talk about the history of English system in the Philippines. The Philippines uses the metric system of measurement. Since 1860, when the nation was still under Spanish colonial rule, the metric system has been mandatory in the Philippines. On the other hand, Philippines still use some English units such as feet, inches, and degrees Celsius. These units are ingrained in our daily lives and we often to use them for everyday measurements like height, body temperature, and distances. While the Philippines has officially adopted the SI system or the metric system, some English units remain common in everyday life. That's why class nowadays we're actually using the combination of the English system and the metric system in our country in the Philippines. Let me give you example class. For example class, our height, there are other companies that they will be measuring your height using feet and inches, and those are example of the English system. And other companies, they will be measuring your height by using the unit's meters, and meters, those are example of the metric system. So it's actually a class combination of the metric system and the English system in our country today, in the Philippines. Now let's talk about the types of units of English system of measurement. So the first one, we have the unit length. The second one, we have the unit weight. And the third one, we have the unit capacity. So let's explain more class with regards to the unit length. So for the unit length class, these are example for the English system units of length. So we have inches, we have feet, we have yards, and then we have miles. So let's have the conversion for this one. So that would be one foot is equal to 12 inches, and then one yard is equal to three feet, and then one mile is equal to 5,280 feet. Now, with regards to the conversion of units class for the English system, I do have a video for that. And I will just put the link on the description down below. So if you want to learn more class on how to convert unit lengths with regards to the English system, I will just put the link on the description down below class. Feel free to see the video class. Let's proceed now for the unit weight. Now, let's talk about the English system units of weight. So, the first unit, we have the unit ounces and the abbreviation that would be OZ. And this is one of the instruments to measure ounces. And the next unit, we have the unit pounds and the abbreviation that would be LB. So, we can use a weighing scale in which the unit is set to pounds. And then the last unit for weight, that would be ton. And the abbreviation, that is T. So we can use the electronic platform. So this will be the weighing scale for heavy duty item. So we can use ton in measuring those type of items because in which the items are quite heavy. So we will be using the electronic platform. All right, and this will be the conversion. So we have one pound is equal to 16 ounces and then one ton is equal to 2,000 pounds. All right, so let's proceed now to the unit capacity, and this will be our last slide. So English system units of capacity, our first unit, we have the fluid ounces, and the abbreviation is FLOZ. And the second unit, we have the unit cups, and the abbreviation is C. 
And the third unit, that would be pints, and the abbreviation is PT. And then we have quarts, the abbreviation is QT. And then the last one, we have gallons, and the abbreviation is GAL. So this will be the instrument class to measure fluid ounces, cup, pints, quarts, and then gallons. So we will be using this instrument. And this will be our following conversion. So we have one cup is equal to eight fluid ounces. And then one pint is equal to two cups. One quart is equal to two pints. And then one quart is equal to four cups. One gallon is equal to four quarts. And then one gallon is equal to 16 cups. Once again, class, with regards to the conversion of the English system, the conversion of the unit length, the unit weight, and then the unit capacity, I will just put the link on the description down below. Feel free to see the conversion of units class. So that's it class for the English system. So I hope you learned something new today. If you like this video, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. You share it to your friends and to your classmates so that we can help more students. Once again, this is Teacher MJ. Have a great day class. Goodbye for now. Bye-bye.